Hi everyone, I'm Kerry. Welcome to the continuation of the Train and Animal series. I'll be showing you how to crochet the caboose today. You'll need a small amount of four colours of cotton or wool. I'll be using red for the main colour and black, yellow and grey for ply crochet cotton. You'll also need a crochet hook, sewing or darning needle and scissors. Okay, I'm going to start on the main body of the, of the caboose. So I'm going to do 27 chain to start with. I'm going to miss the first chain and I'm going to do a single crochet into each of the next chain. A single crochet is hook into the, into the chain, pull up a loop, yarn round and through the two loops. So I'll work single crochet right across. The next three rows it's going to be one chain and we turn and we work one single crochet in each stitch. So I'll do that and I'll come back. Now I'll finish the first four rows and I'm going to start the shaping for the back landing of the caboose. So I'm going to slip stitch in the first first eight single crochet. And then I'm going to chain one and single crochet in each stitch across until the last two.
I've got two left, I'm going to leave those two. And for the following rows, I'm going to chain one, turn, and single crochet in each stitch across. Now for row 7 to 16, I'm going to repeat row 6. So one chain and turn and single crochet in each stitch across. So I'll do that and I'll come back. Now I've finished all the rows. I'm just going to neaten the edge round to here by doing single crochet into each stitch. So I'll start with one chain and then work single crochet around the edge. this corner here I'll just do a slip stitch into the corner and then turn and then work a single crochet into the next stitch. So here I'll do a single crochet in the last stitch, one chain, turn and do a single crochet in the same stitch again just so I've got a sharper corner. And I'll do the same at this corner here. I'm going to crochet the tail in. So I'll continue around the train and I'll be back. Now I've gone right round to here, so I'm going to fasten off. And that's done. I'll start on the roof now. I'm going to, to start with 35 chain for the roof. I attach the roof as I go. So I'll start with black. I always do more chain than I think I'll need, just so I don't have to redo it because I've got haven't got enough chain.
left I miss the first chain and I'll do a single crochet in the next eight. That will be the roof for the landing. Now I'm going to attach chain to the to the caboose. So I'll put my hook through the next chain and then into the first single crochet and pull a loop through the bow. and then yarn round and through two. So I'm going to do single crochet to attach. So just through the two layers. And when you're finished, you work three more single crochet into the next three chain. So I've got a few left, so I'll just undo the remaining chain. Pull it tight. For the next two rows, we chain one and turn and single crochet into each single crochet. Just 
just like that. So I'll do that and I'll come back. Now there's the roof done. Next we're going to do the railing for the landing. So we join our cotton in here, just at the edge, the back corner. And you work six chain. Now I'm going to miss two chain and into the third chain I'm going to work a treble. A treble is yarn round the hook twice into the stitch and pick up a loop, yarn round twice, yarn round through two, yarn round through two and yarn round through two. Then I'm going to work two, two chain, miss two stitches and I'll work another treble into the following stitch. And then two more chain and another treble into this next stitch. And then I'm going to slip stitch into the body of the train and fasten off. So you've got your little, little railings there and when you stitch it on you just put a stitch there to make it stick out. Next I'm going to do the inside of the wheels. So I'll do a magic loop. A magic loop you start as if you're going to do a chain and instead of pulling it tight you pull it quite loose. And into the loop I'll do one chain and I'm going to work eight single crochet into the loop. And you grab the tail and pull it tight and work a slip stitch into the one chain and then fasten that one off. You'd need two of those. It's just a little circle. For the outer wheels, we'll join back into anywhere in the circle. And work three chain. And I work one double crochet in the same spot as the chain. And then into each single crochet I'm going to work two double crochet. I'm going to crochet the tail in this time.
and then you join with a slip stitch in the third chain. For the next row we work three chain and work one double crochet in the next stitch and then two in the following. We'll do that all the way around, one in one stitch and then two in the following. If you want a slightly bigger wheel you could work two double crochet in each stitch. So I'll finish this round and I'll come back. At the end of the row we slip stitch into the third chain and fasten off. Now I'm going to make the window. So I start with seven chain. I miss the first chain and I work a single crochet in the other six chain. And now we're going to work five rows of one chain and one single crochet in each stitch. So I'll do that and I'll be back. Now that's my five rows. Now I need to neaten the edges. So I'll do a chain and then work single crochet around just as I did for the main part of the caboose. So I'll do that and I'll finish off my endings and I'll come back and show you how to put the caboose together. Now there are our parts. We'll just centre the window in there. I like to put the wheel just above there so when I put the grey between the wheels it will show up better so the wheel will just go near just above the line where the landing starts and the other one about there so I'll attach them and I'll come back now that's the caboose done except for the mark the line between the two wheels. I'll use grey for that and I just leave a bit of a tail to join it on each end and um, just do, do enough chain to fit it between the wheels. Just join it in through there.
just make sure my chain is facing upward and just catch it I'll stitch that on with um, cotton because I have trouble with with sewing cotton. I have trouble with this thicker cotton. Just end that one off. I'll join that one in the same and that's what the caboose will look like. Now next time we're going to put our train together I'll show you how how to make the train tracks and the smoke and also the to join the trains together and put it all together. Um, if you like my videos, please subscribe, like and share. I'm also on Pinterest and Instagram. The details are in the description below. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.